So a few days ago I was scrolling Reddit and I came across this post by TurtleShip2006. Somebody make this, and not for storing anything as a video. <laughs> now this post is pretty long, so I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing, but basically what TurtleShip2006 wants is a program that can be used to store any file as a video. And later on, he talks about using these videos to upload to YouTube as a way to sending these files to someone. However, where this gets really cool is when you realize that YouTube actually has no limit on how many videos you can upload. Which essentially means that if you're able to make this program, you can go ahead and take these videos you make and upload them to YouTube and essentially have a 100% free cloud storage solution. Now, if that didn't make sense to you, this basically means that you're able to have infinity storage forever without ever having to pay one single dime. So, TurtleShip 2006, I give you FVID. Oh, that's not even the right screen, bro. So, TurtleShip 2006, this one's for you. I give you FVID. You see? There it is. It's FVID, bro. Nerd! Okay, yeah, but Alfredo, all I see is a bunch of nerd stuff on the screen. What does that mean? So, to show you how FVID works, first you need to understand how images work. You might already know this, but images are composed of very, very small, tiny little squares that contain color information. Now, these tiny little squares are called pixels. Pixels carry color data, and color data is usually represented in one of two ways. One is using the RGB colors. This is just a way of telling you how much red, green, or blue there is in each pixel. Another way of representing this color data is using what's called HTML notation, which is probably more commonly known as hexadecimal values. Okay, but how does this help us? Well, if we use a program like XXD, which can show us a hexadecimal representation of a file, we can see that we can actually use a hexadecimal representation of a file as the colors for pixels. And then taking that further, we can do the same thing over and over again for the rest of the file, giving us what is essentially a bunch of images that we can then use to turn into a video. Awesome, so that's it, we have an algorithm. Not quite. You see, when you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube actually compresses that video, which means that the video might look the same, but the colors are actually different. Now, this is a problem, because if we were to go with this approach, that means that the data we get back from the video might not be the same. But if instead we use a binary representation of a file and treat black as zero and one as white, we can do the same thing. And repeating the same process for the file, thus giving us a series of pictures like before, but instead in black and white. Then we can use those images to make it into a video like before. Wait a second, but didn't you say that uploading a video to YouTube changes its color values? Well, yes, it does. But the fact of the matter is that it's a lot easier to distinguish between black and white, even if the values are different. Whereas it would be a lot more difficult to distinguish between two shades of green that look very, very similar. Ultimately, this means that we're able to retrieve our data back with just ones and zeros instead of having to do a bunch of math to figure out what shade of green YouTube changes the color to. All right, that's enough explanation. Do you want to see this thing work? So let me show you it. First, we have the picture of this cute hamster here. We're going to go ahead and call it FVID with the picture from the hamster picture and tell it to encode the video. Now, if we open the video, this is it. I know it doesn't look very amazing or anything, but that's actually the image encoded within the video. Now let's use FBIT again and input the video file and tell it to decode it this time. Here we go, we have a new image here. And as you can see, even the image has the right extension as the original image, but we gotta open it. I gotta show you it's the same one or else you're not gonna believe me. And there he is, look at the hamster. All right, that's cool and all, but what about YouTube? The whole process is to be able to retrieve it from YouTube, even though YouTube's algorithm is gonna go ahead and compress the image and change the color values. So here is that same video that I use right now and I uploaded it to YouTube. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that URL and download the video. First, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these files to make sure I'm not tricking or anything. So I'm removing everything with the exception of the program itself. Now we're gonna go ahead and use YouTube DL, which is a program to download YouTube videos to download that file. And as you can see, we have a new file right here, which is that video we just downloaded. We're gonna do the same thing and feed it into FBIT as an input and telling it to decode the video this time. And now if we see we have a new file, which is that same as before. If we open it, there he is. Q. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know below if you liked it. Let me know what you didn't like about it. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know whatever you want to let me know about it in the comments below. Um, I actually like making this program. It was really cool to see it, see it come to life, right? See if I could actually make it, and I did. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and post all the source code for the program underneath on the GitHub link, so that'll be in the description below. Keep in mind that it's not production ready. There's still bugs in there, and there's definitely better ways of doing certain things. Like, I could have done a lot more memory than I did. And I will also leave a link to that video that I uploaded on YouTube. So if you want, you can actually go ahead and download that video from YouTube and then run it through the program to get back the image of the hamster. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace.